Place is crawling with Draugr. We're not mining up any ore with those undead around, so I wouldn't go down there if I were you. There you are. The Force Sworn will reclaim what is right for
Who's there? Over here! Gotta get this bridge down. These pillars must have something to do with it. Yes, these are Akaviri symbols. Here, let's see. You have the symbol for king and the warrior, and of course the symbol for dragonborn. That's the one that appears to have a sort of arrow shape pointing downward at the bottom. Yes, that's it. The symbol on the pillar on the left. Whatever you did, it worked. Let's see what those old ones left in our way. Revered we would see it in. This whole place appears to be a shrine. End of the Akavira and Bowman. Humans rebelled against the dragon of the Lord, the legendary dragon. Alduin's defeat is the centerpiece of the war. You see, 
Here is falling from the sky. The Nord Tongs, masters of the voice, are arrayed against him. So does it show how they defeated him? Isn't that why we're here? Ah, patience, my dear. The Akaviri were not a straightforward people. Everything is couched in allegory, a mythic symbol. Yes, yes. This here, coming from the mouths of the Nord heroes, this is the Akaviri symbol for shout. But there's no way to know what shout is meant. You mean they used a shout to defeat Alduin? You're sure? Hmm? Oh, yes. Presumably something rather specific to Kragans. Or even Alduin himself. Remember, this is where they recorded all the news of Alduin. So we're looking for a shout then. Damn it. You ever heard of such a thing? A shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky? You're probably right. I was hoping to avoid having to involve them in this, but it seems we have no choice. If they had their way, you'd do nothing but sit up on their mountain with them and talk to the sky or whatever it is they do. The Greybeards are so afraid of power that they won't use it. Think about it. Have they tried to stop the Civil War, or done anything about Alduin? No. And they're afraid of you, of your power. Trust me, there is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septim. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to the Greybeards? Only if you don't know how to use it. All the great heroes have had to learn to use their power. Those that shrank from their destiny. Well, you've never heard of them, have you? And there are the villains, those that misused their power. There's always a choice, and there's always a risk. But if you live in fear of what might go wrong, you'll end up doing nothing. Like the Greybeards up on their mountain. Right. Good thing they've already let you into their little cult. Not likely they'd help Esbern or me if we came calling. We'll look around Skyhaven Temple and see what else the old blades might have left for us. It's a better hideout than I could have hoped for. Talos guard you. Look here, in the third panel. The prophecy which brought the Akaviri to Tamriel in the first place, in search of the Dragonborn. Here are the Akaviri, the blades. You see their distinctive long swords. Now they need their ancient mission fulfilled as the last Dragonborn. With all the wind at the end of time. Are you paying attention, Delphine? You might learn something of our own history. I know the prophecy by heart. Once all blades knew it, when misrule takes its place at the eight corners of the world. When the brass tower walks and time is reshaped, when the thrice blessed fail and the Red Tower trembles. When the Dragonborn ruler loses his throne and the White Tower falls. When the Snow Tower lies sundered, kingless, bleeding, the World Eater wakes and the wheel turns upon the last dragon. Well, I'm going to look around some more. See what the old blades left for us. Yes, yes, that's an excellent idea. Who knows what other 